Now at 5 o'clock, a deadly confrontation at a takeout restaurant in the Frankfurt neighborhood of the city. Tonight we have new video of the moment the encounter between two men turns fatal. Wednesday night, Shari and Rick are off. I'm Gray Hall. And I'm Chris Dioletto. The big story on Action News is the deadly ordeal that has a neighborhood shaken up. Yeah, Action News reporter Walter Perez live at police headquarters with the investigation and that piece of video of that incident that you will only see here on Action News. Walter. That's right, Gray and Christy. Witnesses tell us some police officers were nearby at the time, and so the suspect was arrested a short time after the incident. But for the people who witnessed the whole thing, they say there's no way of describing the feeling of watching another human being lose his life. Terrified is not the word. That is the voice of a witness who asked not to be identified, describing what she saw on Monday night. Action News given exclusive access to surveillance video from inside the takeout restaurant in Frankfurt, where a 34-year-old man was shot and killed on Monday night. The witness says it started with two customers getting into an argument. I pulled the gun, heard the first shot. I went and grabbed another car, peeked up over the window, saw the second shot. The alleged gunman has since been identified as 30-year-old Jamel Taylor. The witness says it was after the second shot when the gunman became enraged. The guy starts literally stumping on his head and then bends down and yells at him, you glad I shouldn't, I mean, you should be glad I didn't shoot you again. We spoke with people who knew the 34-year-old victim who say he was a quiet man who was always polite with his neighbors. He did no drugs, no alcohol. Nothing like that, okay? All right, and all he did is just drink his energy drinks and, and stay to himself. All as people from this part of Frankfurt say, they're becoming increasingly concerned about their safety. There's a lot of gang banging up here. And it's really getting really bad up here, man. It really is. Everyone's getting killed left and right. It's crazy. But uh, nothing we could do, you know, except, you know, people are going out of control. So once again, the victim has been killed, the suspect has been arrested, and police describing this as yet another case of senseless gun violence. Reporting live from police headquarters, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News.